It's week 18 of the NFL, and we've got the Vikings athletic corner, whose team should stop targeting with how many picks he has this season. It's the Vikings and the Lions. All that and more coming up. They motion the tight end over. They go play action with Goff. On him quick, and they bring him down. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. It's now second and 19 at the 21 yard line. They'll send their tight end right. Trying again, following the sack. Into the hands of Gibbs. And he'll get taken down after advancing this to the 37. Vikings defense countering with a nickel look. Third down coming. Off the gut they go with Gibbs. And he's brought down for a loss. Brought down behind the line of Bernie. A loss of a yard. On first down, it's gone. A lot of guys there, and it's intercepted. The rookie from Ohio State takes it away. Well, that's what you call making the best out of a pretty messy situation. You hate to give the ball away. But that's a tremendous effort to bring the defender down right away and minimize the damage with very little return. Goff on first and ten. Well, the pressure nearly got to him, but still a good play defensively as that one falls incomplete. You know, when we were growing up in the backyard, we call them alligators. One alligator, two alligator, three alligator. He needed another alligator in order to get that ball off. Credit the defense for forcing the incompletion. Tight end going in motion here. To throw again here, second and ten. It's gone. Oh, they're on him, and he's dropped again. And that pushes him back. Third down coming up. It's now third down. Now gone. Safe Brown there to bring it in. 8-11 up to about the 23-yard line on the play. First down throw from Goff. And there's a man there. It's intercepted. And the Vikings get it as he records yet another interception. 
interception in a career campaign. Well, obviously not the cleanest game without two interceptions, but here's the key. This is where mental toughness for a quarterback becomes so critical. And frankly, why some of the best QBs playing today have baseball in their background, because you flush your... The tight end going in motion right. A start on the ground with Gibbs. And this one does not go far. Two on the pickup there, and it's going to be second and eight. Hey, we know running the ball in the NFL is hard, and that play pretty indicative of it. Here's the key, though. At the end of the game, those type of plays got to be in the minority, and the majority have got to do some damage. This is Gibbs on second down. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. We have a timeout now. Medical staff out to check on an injured man. And you hate to see this in the final week of the regular season. Goff on third. State. Here's pressure, and he's dropped by the Vikings. And the defense comes through to back him up ahead of fourth down. Out of the shotgun, gone. Pass taken in by St. Brown. And he'll get it up near the 38-yard line before going down. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. From the 38. St. Brown's got it. Complete. And he stopped cold at the spot. Ooh, he paid for that one. But hey, still enough for that first down. He lobs it up, looking deep to the right side. He's got it inside the 10. And he breaks into enemy territory before being stopped on a huge game. That's good for the Lions. First and goal at the seven yard line. Throwing again, it's gone. And they will score, touchdown Detroit. Chops him in the lead off before the half. It's a... Rush coming for Goff. Here's pressure, and he's dropped by the Vikings. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down, coming up. They send the tight end in motion. Another try following the sack. Oh, brother, it's another interception. And the Vikings get it to zero courts. Yet another interception in a career campaign. Well, no doubt they envisioned that as the start of a second-half push for the lead. But the defense, well, defense had other ideas, Brock, protecting their team's advantage and taking possession back on the first play of the series. Not the way you needed to start the half if you were thinking comeback, but exactly the way to start the half if you're... Looking to throw here and shake off that previous INT. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. Trying getting it to Amon Ross St. Brown. And it's going to be second down. 
on the gun, Goff. Hits his man on the out route. And he's up to the 35-yard line as they reel him in. And the Vikings add an extra defensive back for this third down. Shotgun snap here to go. That's caught for the first. And the tackle's made just beyond midfield at the 48. All right, set now, first and 10. He'll throw it yet again. He completes it in traffic. And he's brought down after pushing to that 35-yard line. And they've got themselves another first and 10. Straight ahead with Gibbs. He finds space into the red zone. And he will get this to the end zone for a Detroit touchdown. The Lions shave some off the deficit late in the quarter. It's a Jameer Gibbs touchdown. The Lions offense looks like they're staying out there. We got a two-point try coming up. They'll try to run it in. And he made the line of scrimmage, but not that goal line. Defense there to shut down that two-point attempt. Looking to throw, Goff. To the right and hauled in by Laporta. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. Just one play into this drive, and they're already sitting on their own 45. Running it with David Montgomery. And he'll have it down to the 44-yard line. Give him 11 yards, Brock, and a fresh set of downs. On the 44-yard line now, first and 10. First and 10 at the 44-yard line. Goff to the air now. The ball's out. The ball's out. He lost it. And the fumble recovery is made. And they stop him before he gets much on the return. Defense showing blitz, golf. That's complete to St. Brown outright. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. Off play action, golf. Oh no, they get him yet again! And the Vikings get it as he makes his third interception of this game. Oh, coaches just love that effort right there instantly. As he made the pick, everybody was looking for a block and doing their part to set up the return. And I know it pales in comparison to giving up the turnover, but how about the effort on the other side to track him down and stop a potential pick six? I think Eric... Interception last drive doesn't deter them. They're going right back to the air. Able to find Peoples Jones. And he pushes it up across the 30 before going out. Second and three now. Here's Gong. And that's the record! His fifth interception in this ball game! And he makes the heads go! It's a touchdown on the pick six! Went to the old well one too many times, Brock, and this time the defense was ready for it. 
Yeah, you make as many catches as he has in this game, you're going to attract some extra attention. Mm -hmm. They knew it was probably going his way in the near future, and they had somebody there waiting for it that time. Goff trying again here after the pick. He finds Laporta. And he'll get it up near the 38-yard line before going down. Here's second and two. And the cover just too good there. Didn't find the throw that he was confident in, so just throws it away. Third down coming up. Throwing is gone. Safe Brown there to bring it in. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. A gain of four yards. That's good. Four lines. Goff back to throw. He gets this one to Peoples Jones. And the tackle's made just beyond midfield at the 48. Offense set for a first and ten. Out of the shotgun, gone. Throw complete to Williams. And he crosses out of bounds, so now we're gonna learn who the penalty flag is on. Well, we knew it, Brock, and now they know it too. That one was on their defense. First and 10 for him now, following the penalty. Throwing it again here. Laporta with the grab. And he's going to be brought down at the 35-yard line. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. Williams coming in motion right. Throwing again. It's Goff. Gets it quickly to St. Brown. And they haul him down just a foot or two shy of the red zone. Offense hurrying to the line with the clock running. That's another First down throw from Goff. And that one's incomplete. Well, Kate, that wasn't a fast enough break for the interception, but it was good enough and a good enough break to break on the ball, get a finger on it, and force the incompletion. To throw again here, second and ten. It's caught him deep behind the line. Oh, the ball is out! And it's a turnover. The defense has it. So the Vikings pick up the win on the road. And they end the season on a great note, Brock, with a W in the final chapter of this year's campaign.